Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm going to talk to you today about Hayao Miyazaki, one of my ultimate animation and artistic idols. See, for those of you that don't know me that well, I do love art. I really love art. It's like it made a really like a passion of mine for like since I was really little. I specialize in realism and airbrush, and also do digital editing. I love to take photo photographs and things like that. And I'm probably going to put some pictures somewhere for you guys to see. But I want to show you the ultimate. Hayao, Hayao Miyazaki is like the ultimate animator. Everyone who knows who he is aspires to be just like him. And I'm going to talk about him today. Well, first of all, I got this from one of my relatives for Hungry Ghost Festival a bit back. And it was... Kiki's delivery service. I also got my neighbor, the art of my neighbor Totoro. It's just basically the same thing. Basically, what this is, it's a lay, it's a lay down, like a play by play of his artistic works for that entire movie. Like this, it just it gives you a full word. I had the Japanese version, but I couldn't read all of it. So because most of it is in kanji, so I couldn't read it. <laughs> so I just got the English version, but. Basically, this thing is whole. It's like laying down like the whole, his all of the elements of his books, and I just sort of want to give you like a review of these because they're so amazing. Okay, Hayao Miyazaki is just like the best artist ever, and he's just so he just he he has this unique mindset. And it's just wonderful, and basically i got two bit one after the other i got kiki's livery service and my neighbor totoro my neighbor totoro was actually produced earlier like right before this movie was produced so i got them kind of like in order i got uh, my neighbor totoro first and then i got the kiki's livery service i don't know which one i prefer but i've always had a soft spot for totoro even have a hat it looks like him so i'll show you that in a minute but this book basically shows you he all his con concept art that he has done for these to like demonstrate it and it's just it's really good and he has this see this is my neighbor Totoro this is Totoro and this is I don't know how to pronounce name properly I don't want to butcher it so I'm just gonna let it leave it as it is but the like mixed animated film this one, I actually showed this picture in my whole Power Roots video. This one, I took a picture of it with my cell phone and I put, put it in there because it is a major part of Japanese culture. His works have like influenced a lot of manga artists today and he has certainly influenced me as far as artistic creations go. I never would have produced the work that I produced I think unless I had met him. Because I used to be 100% about realism, I still am very much into realism, but I don't do the whole, I don't spend as much time on it as I used to. I used to be just like realism only, but now it's a little different. But see, I love the way his expressions are just, just look at that, they're just gorgeous. And he takes so much time and effort into putting these. And it's just, you know, he thinks about each character and he's like, works in and changes his mind because the final result of Kiki was very different from the actual version. I actually have a best friend, her name is Kiki and she loves this movie, it's, just, it's hilarious. But when she's watching it, she's always like, hey, who's calling my name? So, <laughs> but yes, he's a good, very good. And he, see, like, this is the, the Kiki that turned out to be the most, like, the prominent one. But... He, he like goes through all these different ones to try to pick out which one he thinks would be best and he just he, he draws very 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 beautifully and I've always been like into his work very much so yes such such good art such good art I mean if you could draw like that wouldn't that be awesome this is so impressive it's just so impressive to me <laughs> I love this one because she's like, ah! <laughs> yes, so in conclusion, I would like to say that Hayao Miyazaki is one of the most, I think, influential Japanese artists. And he sort of pushed manga to the front. Like, if it weren't for his movies, I don't think as many people would know quite about it as possible. Because, see, 
Studio Ghibli is one of the few Japanese movie companies that has actually made it with Disney and also they have done English dub. Most Japanese movies just stay with like subtitles but basically almost all of his movies so far, they're still working on most of them, um, have been translated into English and like dubbed over. I can't watch those though because I can't. It's animation so I can't, can't read their lips because it's a cartoon. So I just watch the subtitle version but it's just, they are such an amazing art. Definitely worth looking at. Thank you. I'm really, really glad that my aunt got me this because it's such a good book. And he just, like, it's just so good. Like, he, at the end, he just lays out, like, every panel, every panel, like, every action. And it's just, wow. I really like it. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please leave any comments, suggestions, or video ideas in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!